all right hello so today i'm gonna give a review on this saddle it's called the infinity saddle right so it's a very strange looking saddle um the concept of the infinity saddle is that uh well usual saddles like this one it's an old sq lab one i love this saddle as well um the normal concept is that your sit bones you know sort of sit uh, towards the rear of the saddle and that's where most of your weight should be um, concentrated on right so you don't have any weight on the peripherals on you know the, the undercarriage the sensitive fleshy parts um, so it's really the sit bone that takes most of the beating during a super long ride and that's great but you know um, I've been looking for I've tried you know I don't know 15 20 saddles already over the course of my cycling and the quest has always been to find the saddle with the best cushion or material which is firm enough to support me and not you know sink into the saddle as the ride progresses um, because if you sink in you know all the sensitive parts also gets you know um, pressed into the saddle you get chafing um, the saddle bone also eventually if it if it um, sinks enough it you know makes contact with the shell right and over you know thousands of pedal strokes when your sit bones you know move a little bit that really eventually adds up and it hurts after a while right so um, this one I think has you know the best padding so far but um, you know I tried this saddle and it has a completely different concept to it right so whereas the normal saddle will have you sit on your sit bones and not have any pressure anywhere else it's a little bit of the opposite for the infinity saddle right so the, the concept is that it has this massive cutout where your sit bones actually go through and the concept is uh, you are supported everywhere else right so the weight is distributed in the fleshy parts of your behind right here this one is, is, is flexible right so it sort of also alleviates a little bit of the weight and also same here you have a cutout here this also takes a little bit of the weight from the sit bones so you know the concept is you have you sort of sit in the saddle and not on it right you have one position which is you know something that's good for me and you know you don't really feel the pressure in one spot like the sit bones you sort of feel it all over and it's distributed right so that's the concept of the saddle and supposedly it um, increases comfort right um, and you know let me make a disclaimer everyone's behind everyone's you know anatomy is different you may have wider narrower sit bones or you have a different bone structure different flexibility which causes you to sit differently and maybe you're riding more aggressively or less aggressively so you know take this advice and review with a grain of salt it's always a journey of finding out what's what's good for you what works for you right so um this is what works for me and and my verdict on the infinity saddle is it's mixed mostly positive i think you know it's really good um and it's so good for me that i already right after the ride i went online and, and uh, you know placed an order for a brand new one because this one uh, I just borrowed this one from someone to test, right? And I haven't had this saddle for long, but I think I've had enough testing with it because I tested it on two rides. One ride was a hilly 150 kilometer ride, and the one last, just last weekend, was a 600 kilometer Audax Brevet ride, right? So that's um, a really long time on the saddle. It's 600 kilometers, you know, pretty much straight. The, you need to finish it in like one and a half days or something like that right 40 hours so it really is a test of, of the saddle and i would say i've done that five times now and this one is the one where i had the least amount of saddle discomfort or pain there still is some discomfort right i don't think you can ever get away from that you know even just sitting on a chair for 40 hours your butt's gonna feel something right what more if you're you know pedaling on this um but yeah um overall i really like it right um my sit bones which were normally you know the one that that got the beating on regular saddles were really good i had a lot of chafing though i did 
bring some chamois cream with me, but I think it was not enough. It also rained a lot, so maybe it got washed off uh, in the middle of the ride, like reapplied, but it rained again and so on. But, you know, um, but I would say overall the chafing and the discomfort from the saddle is nowhere near the pain that I've gotten on some rides um, using traditional saddles. And I've had, um, you know, I've tried a lot of saddles. For, for a while, I stuck with the Brooks leather saddles, the, the Cambium saddles, um, Specialized Power. Uh, what else? I, I also have a, uh, um, a Physique. Uh, I think it's this Terra, Terra Argo or something like that. And I have a few other specialized model saddles in, in, in there. But you know, I've tried a lot of saddles. Sella Italia, um, Sella Anatomica as well. And I can say that this one is so far my favorite because um, the discomfort is the least, right? And I think it's because everything is, is uh, evenly spread out, right? So there's no one point that takes the beating for the whole ride. Everyone shares the burden and everyone gets a little bit less of it and it's a little bit more bearable. Um, but I want to talk about you know the downsides of this saddle. Now, uh, just a disclaimer, I mentioned I borrowed this from a friend, right? He says that this was the first generation of the saddle that came out, right? So I'm not sure if they already updated the design or, you know, my friend that I borrowed this from, he weighs, he's quite a heavy set guy. I think he weighs 90, 95, 100 kilos when he was riding. Um, so one thing that you notice here, if you can see, is that the sides of the saddle are already touching my seat post, right? The seat post clamp there right so there's no give anymore when you have a normal saddle normally you have you know a lot of give on, on the material right so if you go over bumps or whatever on the road you know normal road conditions the saddle can sort of sag a little bit to accept uh, to absorb the impact right but um, this particular model i don't know if it's factory um, designed that way or if it was because my friend was you know, riding on it so much and so for so long and being a heavy set guy and, and it's eventually sagged down over the months or the years that he's had this. But yes, look, if the the sides there are already touching, right? So if I put my weight on there, you know, I'm not super heavy, I'm like 70 kilos, but if I sit there and put a little bit of weight there, it now touches the seat post, the saddle clamp on both sides, there's no room for it to sag. And also same with, if you can see here, same with this middle thing here. This supposedly flexes, right? It takes a little bit of the load, but it touches the bolt on my seat post. So when I sit on this, it becomes a fixed thing, right? So it's, um, it's touching there and it's fixed along with the side. There's no play at all. So if I run over bumps, I'm gonna have to rely on the seat post, which is a good seat post. This is a Canyon first generation VCLS um, carbon, seat post which is you know one of the highest rated in terms of comfort and, and shock absorption so it was the, the shock was bearable but what happened was every time I hit a bump since there was no play in the saddle itself the seat post would slowly slide down a little bit every time right so I, I ended up having to um, lift my seat post up around five to six times during the ride because it was slowly going down because you know the full force of my body full weight is pressing down on the seat post rather than having a little bit of play on the saddle you know having a little bit of absorption so that's that if you look online I think I don't know if this was called the E2 this it looks a lot like the elite E2 model on the infinity um, saddle website but this must have this must have been one of the first gen infinity saddles I don't know if they called it an E2 back then but it's definitely you know placed lower the saddle is definitely placed lower compared to the saddle rails right so part of part of the saddle is even lower than the saddle rail right so maybe it was a design gap back then or maybe it was my friend who was you know um putting his weight or you know on, on the saddle that caused it to sag but yeah looking at the website now i see that in the pictures and on google i see that the saddle is pretty much raised now compared to the saddle rail right so they they've solved that issue I think and that's why I, I made an, uh, I placed an order online after the ride um, and I hope to get it in the next few weeks right but in the meantime 
I will probably stop using this for now. I'll use a different bike, um, and, and this this bike that I use for the 600 kilometer ride needs a rest anyway. So yeah, there you have it. That's my review of the Infinity Saddle. Um, I have the very fortunate opportunity to try it out. If you can try it out first, because these saddles are not cheap. They are probably the most expensive saddles that I have ever tried. So, but I think it's worth it, right? If if I can go through 600 kilometers um, without you know men, um, grimacing in pain every time I get on the saddle. Oh, that's one more thing. One thing I noticed is that on the regular saddles, right? Um, long ride, maybe stop, get something to eat, or you know refill your bottles or your bidon. When you get back on the bike, the moment you sit first, you know, with your bruised sit bones, it hurts a lot, right? So you gotta get used to that. But with the Infinity Saddle, since everything is distributed, um, when I get off the bike to eat or whatever, when I get back on the bike, it's like a reset, small reset. I, you know, the pain is suddenly reduced a lot again. The discomfort is reduced. It looks, it feels like I am sitting on the saddle again for the first time that day. Right, and then it takes you know a little bit of time again for me to feel the discomfort. But yeah, that's that's one thing I really like about this one, and I think a lot of that has to do with the weight and the pressure being distributed all over. Right. Um, another thing is I had no numbness, zero numbness with this one. Of course, you need to position it really well. They have video instructions in the website on how to adjust the position and tweak it to yourself. Right. So I. I spent a lot of time for probably a total of two to three days just riding around the neighborhood where i live sh really short rides just dialing in and you know i had my uh my torque crunch with me in the ride just dialing in the the fore aft the tail and everything um and then the seat post height as well so yeah it needs to be dialed in and then once you get that sweet spot then it's uh, really good to ride and yeah, let me know what you think of the Infinity Saddle in the comments below. And if you have any questions, just feel free to comment. Thank you.